Monday morning, Labor Day. How is everybody? Hope everybody's having a great weekend. It's raining here today. I'm sitting across from the yard right now, waiting on Teddy. We're not working today. We're gonna go on a little, um, gonna go on a truck hunt. I'm gonna go look at a truck, a white 9000, 1968 white 9000, 240 Cummins, and it's the kind of truck I rode in as a kid. First truck I ever rode in. So we're gonna go look at it. I might buy it, might not. We'll check it out. Um, so let's go. Just waiting on Teddy. Should be here any minute now. Cue the music. -na 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 -na. No, seriously, cue the music. <laughs> Boston Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Seeing it in person really does it. Wow. There she is. Jeez. It's even better in person. Wow, seeing it in person really does it. Jeez. No, the thing's beautiful, dude. Oh my god. A lot of custom, this. all this custom work on it. Dude, brand new everything. Brand new tires, brand new fifth wheel, tire and plate, toolboxes. Uh, you know, I mean, it's amazing what they did to the truck. And then kind of they just, you know, kind of went by the wayside, you know? Yeah. Jeez. Is this just a cover? Yeah, it's just a cover. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I might exhaust. have to put a charge on the batteries just to get her to turn over for you. Can we get it to, can we, we do that? Yeah, let me grab a charge. All right. Oh, yeah. Wow. Five speed. I only prefer if it had a 10 speed is what I really wanted, but... Truck was just mint. It's even got a passenger seat. Not like the ones I rode in as a kid. We sat on a milk crate. Oh man, this is nice. This is awesome. Big ivory wheel. Mm. It's an electric start too. It's not an air starter. It was an air starter, I believe. Is this an ashtray? What is that? I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't pull out. The air on. It's in gear. Yeah, dude, the thing's a freaking time machine. Yeah. Like, you get into it and you're just like, this is what I rode in as a kid when I was like six. The one I rode in didn't have a passenger seat. It had a milk crate, a hood milk crate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, as soon as I like got in the truck, I was like, I gotta buy this thing. It's so clean inside. Dude, it's, yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, you know, it's got some spots here and there. But like, yeah. I mean, for, for something this old, six, you know, especially a work truck that six, like people. 65,000 miles on it, 4,200 hours. Wow. We got smoke. Cigarette plug, cigarette lighter plug. <laughs> Heater. Water control. Fresh air control. Defrost. These are the wipers. Air brakes. That's the throttle. 
slippery road out. I don't even know how that works. The what? The slippery road out. That's like, yeah, is that like a that, differential? That No, that cuts out the front brakes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that cuts out the front brakes. I don't like fuel tanks. That's not going to work, those tanks. No. You have to get the original. Yeah, I don't even know where you get those. Uh, what you do is there's a, there's a place that does fuel tanks. They make fuel tanks. He told me that, yeah. He told yeah. me he knows a place. He talked to a place. Yeah, yeah there's... there's uh, I got, think I got the book in the truck. In hmm. my car. Yeah. Not a bad What'd you say about you knew a place that makes fuel tanks? Did you say you knew yeah, a place? Yeah, in Rhode Island, there's a guy I used yeah. to, because I used to run boats for a long time. Yeah. And uh, oh, and, uh they, they could make these tanks. He didn't quote me a price because he's like, I filled out the thing and I was like, he's like, just it better if you bring down the tank because he was worried about the yeah. steps, how the steps were yeah. gonna sit. Right. But uh, I have their stuff. I'll give you all their information. And, how did you think these tanks were gonna work? Did they, did they, are they the right dimension to fit in that spot? So they're they're the right width for the yeah. hangers, but they're uh, they're longer. They're about yeah, they're twelve longer. inches longer, I think. Yeah. So what I was gonna. Will those come off a Freightliner? Uh, they came off of an L nine thousand Ford L nine thousand. Oh, no kidding. Um, what I was planning on doing was instead of doing two tanks, I was gonna put one big tank on the passenger side. Uh -huh. And then put a Peterbilt battery box uh, and step on the on the driver's side because I just like the look of that the Peterbilt box because we run a couple of Peterbilts here, uh, 357s. Yeah. And uh, I just like the the clean look and I didn't really like the battery boxes that much the way they are. Uh, I felt they felt kind of goofy, but. Yeah, I'd have to keep the tanks original. I'd have to get them made. Yeah. I, I just gotta keep the original look. Yeah, I mean I totally get that. But uh, like I said, they're aluminum. He'll do aluminum, no problem. Yeah. And then there was another guy in, um, I can't remember where. I don't have his information. Because I was just Googling on the internet. I, I got the, um, I got the book in my car. Got it to crank up enough that you know it's started, and I was like, all right, forget it. I don't know. It's good enough. Careful, Teddy. Yeah. You want a step ladder? No, nah, it's all right. I'm just looking. I'm gonna open this side. What's that? You need a hand? I could use a hand or a ladder. Yeah. Actually, I could step on this, can I? Yeah, that's what it's made for. Oh. That, that, that's what the other plate, because I- watch the fuel tank. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, you'll fall over there. Okay, we have it. Okay. That one's good. Oh, yeah. And it just sits on top like that, huh? I, they're, they're, I swear oh, they're, that's what there that's should be hangers for, yeah. or something, but- Is that what that is? Yeah, that's, was it there? But I, I don't know there? if there's a hook on the back or something. No. No, it's just okay. sits in. Teddy, come look at this side. Yeah, here's the oil and stuff. Well, yep. let me grab a let me grab a rag for you guys. Okay. okay. So how long have you been trucking, Mike? Thirty three years. Cool. What's your favorite type of truck? I see a Kenworth on your uh... Yeah, a Kenworth Peterbilt. Whites. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Mid stick. Yeah. Oh, we like it right in the middle. I, you don't have to check that out. Yeah. You said it was full. Yeah. I mean, you, like anything with these types of vintage vehicles, you know, I, I, I restored a lot of vehicles. Yeah. And the key is. 
like you're doing, checking fluids, just keeping an eye on things because you know everything is so old. You know, even though it's been restored, you still have to keep an eye on yeah. things. Like I mean, it's like I tell the drivers every morning: do your pre trips, check your tires, check your lights, check your oil. That's it. Like. It saves a lot of trouble down the road. Of just course, pre simple little things. Preventative yeah. maintenance is key. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm zeal very zealous about it because I tell these guys, you know, when you're in Western Mass and I got a you got a problem. It's yeah. a lot of work to get you to get you home. You know, if you just yeah, so that's all right. You're hot. Yeah, five speed. Yeah. Not yet. It's gonna be a while. It's okay. It's almost fired right away. Come on, baby. So obviously my biggest concern are the fuel tanks. Well, that's that's a given that, and you got to check the hose of the fuel line running from the main tank to the engine because if the tanks are full of shit, you're going to wind up replacing that hose. Yeah. I yeah. replace all the hoses anyway. You only got one that's going to be running because the right tank is going to draw off the left tank because the pump is on this side. Yeah. So. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna re want to replace the crossover line and the line going from the, the main tank up to the uh, fuel pump. Okay. Now, if, this, if it's lost its prime, I doubt it's gonna start. I don't know. Okay. Taking the Giovanni with the diesel. Let me grab some gloves. All right. Uh, I saw that, yeah, yeah. I see a mount for the visor. Yeah, there, there, that, that was an option. Yeah. You want me to try it while you're doing that? Yeah, go ahead. Let's, uh, see if she's not Sounded good. <laughs> I'm already grinning. So are you the mechanic for those guys? No, I'm no. old school. It's no old Been driving school. since 1974, right? Oof. <laughs> Stop reminding me, please. It makes me feel old.
was awesome. That was, that was awesome. Now we gotta pop this hood and check it out. Well, that was a lot of fun. Me and Teddy are back at the shop. I'm gonna throw my rain covers on my stacks. It's just starting to rain. And since I'm here, I figured I'll do that. And then we'll get out of here. So that was great to have Teddy with me. He's a very knowledgeable guy. He's been driving trucks since 1974. He's very mechanical, more mechanical than I am. So that's one of the things that worries about me. Am I, am I mechanical enough to own an antique truck? Yeah, I could probably get by. Obviously there's a few initial costs, buying the truck, getting the truck out of there, which I can do, I can put that on a low bed. So that's getting the fuel tanks, gotta find the tanks. That's the biggest thing. I want the original tanks. So finding original tanks from 1968, I'm sure they're out there, right? We'll have them made. Having them made, I assume, is gonna be very expensive. Probably too expensive for what I wanna do. And uh, yeah, change the tanks, change the lines, put some diesel in it, put her on the road, take it to a show. I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably not going to get it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having doubts. But if I do get it, you'll be the first to know. If I don't get it, I'll let you know too. Because I'm sure somebody out there is a white enthusiast like myself and has the means. I'll, I'll put out the information. All right? Boston Trucker. Peace and grease. Have a great day. Thanks for, uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, share, like, all that cool stuff. Enjoy the rest of your Labor Day weekend. I'm going to go do that myself. See ya. Bye.